chapter 27. In that day lay a charge doth Jehovah with his sword, the sharp and the great and the strong, on Leviathan a fleeing serpent, and on Leviathan a crooked serpent. And he hath slain the dragon that is in the sea. In that day a desirable vineyard respond ye to her. I, Jehovah, am its keeper. Every moment I water it, lest any lay a charge against it. Night and day I keep it. Fury is not in me. Who giveth me a briar, a thorn in battle? I step into it. I burn it at once. Or he doth take hold on my strength. He doth make peace with me. Peace he doth make with me. Those coming in he causeth to take root. Jacob doth blossom, and flourished hath Israel. And they have filled the face of the world with increase. As the smiting of his smiter hath he smitten them? As the slaying of his slain doth he slay? In measure, in sending it forth, thou strivest with it. He hath taken away by his sharp wind in the day of an east wind. Therefore by this is the iniquity of Jacob covered, and this is all the fruit. To take away his sin, in his setting all the stones of an altar, as chalk stones beaten in pieces, they rise not, shrines and images. For the fenced city is alone, a habitation cast out and forsaken as a wilderness. There doth the calf delight, and there it lieth down, and hath consumed its branches. In the withering of its branch it is broken off. Women are coming in, setting it on fire, for it is not a people of understanding. Therefore pity it not doth its maker, and its former doth not favor it. And it hath come to pass in that day, Beat out doth Jehovah from the branch of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and ye are gathered one by one, O sons of Israel. And it hath come to pass in that day, it is blown with a great trumpet, and come in have those perishing in the land of Ashur, and those cast out in the land of Egypt, and have bowed themselves to Jehovah in the holy mount in Jerusalem.